developing news on a story we first broke on Eyewitness News at noon. Chemical scare. Pinpoint news tracker showing you Shulman Avenue in New Bedford. That's where an unknown gas-filled ABC disposal this morning, causing more than 100 people to become sick, including two who are now in critical condition. All were rushed to the hospital, including firefighters and police officers. We have live in-depth team coverage on this chemical scare. I would assume supporter Catherine Sotnik is live at St. Luke's Hospital, where some of the victims were taken for treatment. But first, let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Nika Nuosu at the scene. She's been covering the story since it first broke. Mike, we just received new numbers from the South Coast Hospital Systems. A total 117 people were treated and evaluated as a result of this gas leak. And tonight, two remain in critical condition as investigators try to figure out how this all happened. News Chopper 12 takes you to Shawmut Avenue in New Bedford, where 55 people were taken to the hospital after a chemical gas leak at a waste transfer site. Of those transferred, two remain in critical condition. Five area businesses were also evacuated. I got a call on my cell phone saying the fire department was evacuating, so I left the lab and walked outside and left the building and walked up the street. Brian Adams is an employee at CK Environmental, located in the same complex as ABC Disposal. That's where the leak happened. Tonight, officials are trying to figure out how. Just uh, right now trying to get as much information we can so that we can get the information to the hospital so that they can properly treat the patients. That is our primary focus. Crews arrived on scene around 10.30 this morning and two hours later it reached a level four, the second highest hazmat level. We had people that began to experience some symptoms, nausea, profuse sweating and the like that required treatment. We had others that weren't experiencing any symptoms, but they clearly were in the zone of danger and they required some decontamination and some peripheral treatment. Now the area here is still blocked off as investigators continue working on the scene trying to figure out what happened. They're also expecting about 30 more hazmat specialists to arrive on scene here. Now police tell us they do not believe this is criminal, but they will investigate it as such until they find out the source of this leak. We're live tonight with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom in New Bedford. I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.